It's a really big decision coming from Governor Maura Healey on migrants here in Boston. Good evening, I'm Darren Botello. The governor announcing yesterday by July 9th, migrant families won't be able to sleep at Logan Airport anymore. So our Aaron Logan is at Logan Airport right now on the governor's new plan. And Aaron, what exactly does this mean for those families? Obviously, they have to leave at July 9th, but you know, what else does it mean for them? Well, Darren, Governor Maura Healey says the days of people sleeping on the floors of Terminal E have gone on far too long. Local agencies working to support these families applaud the governor's decision, but admit they have a lot of work in the days ahead. Families still filling the floor space, crammed up against strangers. This is what Terminal E looks like as of Friday night. My heart was broken. I mean, that the scene is inhumane. Gladys Vega runs La Collaborativa in Chelsea. The agency helps migrants with housing security. While Vega says the situation has certainly improved, it's not sustainable. We can no longer do it at the volume that we have been doing it. The state's deadline to stop letting families sleep at Logan comes as government Governor Maura Healey announced she sent state officials to the southern U.S. border this week. To communicate loudly and clearly that we're not going to be able to house people here in Massachusetts. So what does this mean come July 9th? We've given, I think, the uh, enough lead time to work with case managers and service providers in finding new locations for people. Meanwhile, the state is still working to accommodate the influx of migrants. This week, 20 to 25 families moved into a new emergency shelter at a former prison in Norfolk. Just recently, La Collaborativa helped turn the old Chelsea soldiers' home into an emergency shelter for migrants. And the work doesn't stop there. My hope is that we're able to basically make family reconnections elsewhere in other states. Governor Healy says there's some good news to report on this humanitarian crisis. Two to three hundred families have been exiting from the shelter system every month. Those numbers are far higher in terms of exits than we've ever seen before in the history of our emergency shelter system. And they've processed nearly 4,000 people for work permits and many are employed. I'm proud of the state for its efforts to take care of people and I'm, you know, it's, it's been a challenging situation. certainly has. Now, July 9th is just 10 days away, so Governor Healy says there'll be extensive communication during this time to get these families out of Logan. Now, what will happen if they don't leave? She says there are no plans to arrest these people. She just says they will take things as they come. That's the latest from Logan. Live at Logan, Aaron Logan, NBC10 Boston.